Let's take a look at another example. How many molecules are in 0.86 grams of this vitamin C, C6H8O6. So before I forget, I wanna copy the molar mass. I'm gonna go back and find that molar mass. Um, the molar mass that we calculated, 176.1232. So we're just gonna copy that number down. 176.1232 grams per mole so that we can keep using that number without recalculating it. So this problem is asking how many molecules are in 0.86 grams of C6H8O6. So again, we wanna start by writing the thing that we know. We know that we have 0.86 grams of C6H8O6. And we're gonna treat this like a unit conversion problem. So we wanna multiply by a conversion factor. We want grams C6H8O6 to be down on the bottom of our conversion factor because we want that unit to cancel. Now this problem is asking us to calculate how many molecules we have. And just as a side note, I wanna make sure that it's really clear to you that a mole is not the same thing as a molecule. So if a problem is asking us how many molecules do we have, that is not the same as asking us how many moles we have. Um, so in this step right here, when we have units of grams, really our only option is to convert into units of moles of C6H8O6. Now, if you're kind of advanced in chemistry, you might be saying, wait a minute, that's not true. There is a one-step conversion from grams into molecules. And you are right, there is. But that's a little bit overwhelming if this is new to you. So I'm uh, making this video for people who are brand new to this type of conversion. And when you're brand new to this conversion, this is the easier way to learn how to do it. So um, we're just using the relationship between grams and moles that we get from the molar mass. We know that 176.1232 grams is equal to one mole. And with that step, the units of grams C6H8O6 will cancel out. But this problem is not done because we are currently in units of moles and the problem wants us to calculate how many molecules we have. So that just simply means that we need to keep going with our problem here. We need to multiply by another conversion factor. And this conversion factor, we want moles of c 6 h 8 o 6 to be down on the bottom of this conversion factor so that that mole unit can cancel. Ultimately, we're trying to get to units of molecules, C6H8O6. And the relationship between mole and molecule is not one that we've talked about for a while, but that relationship is Avogadro's number. One mole of anything is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of that thing. So this last step is the step that will get us from moles into molecules. And then again, all we have to do is just work the math out on this problem. So we have 0 0.8, 0 0.86 grams. We're dividing, not multiplying, we're dividing by the molecular weight, the molar mass, 176.1232. And then we are going to be multiplying by Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. This is gonna be a really big number because when it comes to the question of how many molecules are there, molecules are very tiny. So this is always gonna be a very big number. And our units for this are molecules of C6H8O6. So let's go back to this, um, this kind of little flow chart that I've made before. Um, if we are being asked to convert from grams into molecules, so um, if we're going from grams to molecules, we have to pass through moles by dividing by molar mass, which is what we did. And then to go from moles to molecules, We are simply going to take the number of moles and multiply by Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now it is possible to go the other direction with this conversion as well, so we'll go ahead and set that up. And we will be able to fill these in by the end of this video, so come back to that. 
Um, let's move on to, I think we have one more sample problem. How many hydrogen atoms are in 3.2 kilograms of C6H8O6? So this is going to have a lot of steps involved in it. But again, we're going to start by writing the thing that we know. We know we have 3.2 kilograms of C6H8O6. And we really want to get rid of our units of kilograms, so we're going to put those down on the bottom, units of kilograms. We cannot convert directly from kilograms into moles or molecules or atoms or anything like that. We need to first start by converting from kilograms into grams using our understanding of the metric prefixes. The prefix kilo is, stands for 10 to the third, so that means one kilo is 10 to the third grams. And this step lets us cancel out our units of kilograms. Now in the next step, we want to continue on. We want to cancel out units of grams. And the only thing that we can convert into from grams is moles. Uh, I'm not going to write the molecular formula in this problem just because I'm trying to save space. So at this point, we're doing a gram to mole conversion. And that relationship is the molecular or the molar mass, which we've used several times. One mole is 176.1232 grams. Um, and hopefully I actually copied this number correctly when I copied it up here. If, if I maybe mixed up some of these digits, just, you know, adjust that yourself. Don't worry about it. So with this step, we have converted from kilograms to grams and then from grams into moles. And let's look back at what it wants. It wants us to calculate how many hydrogen atoms there are. Now this is kind of tricky. This is a problem. I don't think we've done anything like this before. In order to figure out how many hydrogen atoms we have, we have to convert into molecules. So we're basically you know, doing the same type of calculation that we did in the previous problem. One mole of anything is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of those things. And now I'm gonna bring back the formula C6H8O6 because it's gonna be helpful for us to have that labeled. Molecule C6H8O6. And because I've run out of room, I'm actually going to stop and do the math rather than try to carry it over to the next line. So I'm going to pause. We're not done with this calculation yet because at this point we're in units of molecules, but and we have a little bit further to go. But because I'm running out of room, I'm going to pause and I'm going to do the math on what this would be. So let's go to our calculator. 3.2 kilograms times 10 to the third, which is 1,000. Divide by the molecular weight, 176.1232. And then multiply by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. That number is 1, 1.09. I'm going to keep a few extra significant figures here. 1.094 times 10 to the 25th. Let's be very careful with our units. When we left this problem off, we were at units of molecules of C6H8O6. Now again, our goal is to figure out how many hydrogen atoms we have, and our last step now is going to be to use the molecular formula to figure out how many hydrogen atoms there are in this molecule. So our unit on the bottom is going to be molecules of C6HAO6 because we want that unit to cancel out. And up top, the unit that we want is atoms of hydrogen. Looking at the molecular formula, we can see that there are eight hydrogen atoms in every one molecule. That is the final step in this conversion. And so our answer, we just need to divide or multiply by eight. And we get 8.8 .8 when we're rounding, 8.8 .8 .8 times 10 to the 25. The units are atoms of hydrogen. And that's the answer to this question. So in this step right here, um, if we had been asked to calculate carbon atoms, we would be using six carbon atoms in this step. Or if we'd been asked to calculate oxygen, same thing, it would be six atoms of oxygen. These numbers are just based off of the coefficients in the molecular formula. So again, let's return back to this little chart right here. If we need to convert from molecules into atoms, we will just simply multiply the number of molecules, multiply that by the number of atoms of that particular atom 
in the molecule. Now, typically, we don't go the other direction with this, so I'm not going to uh, put a thing here of what we would do to go from atoms to molecules. That's not a standard calculation. For these parts, these conversions, we didn't do any examples of these in the video, but if you are going, if you are moving these conversions in the other direction, you're just doing the inverse of the math. So if you are going from grams to moles, you divide by molar mass. If you're going the other way from moles to grams, you multiply by the molar mass. So you take the number of moles times the molar mass that's equal to the grams and the same thing up here when we go from moles to molecules we multiply by Avogadro's number if we want to go in the other direction we divide by Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd so again this simply means if we're going from molecules to moles we take the number of molecules we divide by Avogadro's number and it gives us the number of moles